having the strength to take a different path than the one you've been on. Libra, I am so proud of you. This is... Oh. Hey there, Libra. How are you? It's your force fairy here. Nice to see you again. Well, Libra, let's... You know what time it is. You know. It's time for your monthly. And I've got this oracle deck. I'm going to switch the oracle decks every month. I've said it in a couple of the other reads, and I think I'm going to do that. So that's this is for the month of February. Envy. Libra. I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. Ooh, this is a really interesting card. Envy. Are people envious of you? Are you envious of others? This is the overall energy and the bottom of the deck. Empathy. I am open to seeing both sides of a situation. That's very Libra. That's a very Libra energy of being able to see both sides. It's actually a superpower to be able to see both sides of a situation. Interesting. Let's get to the tarot. Now this is general read so take it resonates and leave the rest and it's for all Libra placements wherever Libra shows up in your chart first card out two of pentacles balancing you've got a lot on your plate Libra and yes have the ten of wands is it's weighing heavy on you your higher self in the reverse Knight of Wands. I'm going to keep it. That's, this is an energy of, when it's in the upright, acting first and thinking later. So you're putting a lot of thought before action. A lot of thought. Envy goes back to, why am I feeling this way? This is very interesting. Let's, let's get um, to the focus and foundation about a high level commitment, whether it be to a job, to a marriage, to a relationship, to a family, to God even. I'm really feeling your belief in God. Okay. In the past, strength. I feel like this is holding back what you really think, feel, your your true desires. We'll we'll get some clarifiers on that, Libra. And in the future, five of wands, you're, you're, it's like you're anticipating conflict. How you see yourself, Libra, queen of pentacles. How other people see you, the emperor. Father energy. Boss energy. Wow. Um, hope and her fear. The six of pentacles and the last card out, four of wands. Interesting. Bottom of the deck. Ace of Pentacles. A brand new beginning. A brand new stable beginning is what I'm hearing. Let's get to some clarifiers, Libra. Two of Pentacles, balance it. Where is... Capricorn in your chart because you see yourself as the Queen of Pentacles, which is definitely Capricorn. Two of Pentacles, that balancing it and making it look so easy. All that you've got on your plate, Libra, and making it look really easy when it's not. It's it's weighing heavy on you with that Ten of Wands crossing that Two of Pentacles. Now, let's just take a look. Let's get some clarifiers out, and there's that Ten of Swords. Libra, are you balancing out your thoughts? Are you becoming aware? Are you aware that you, you're secretly, with that moon card, that's, you keep it very quiet, you keep it secret, the negative thinking, the envy even, going back to the first card, these negative self-deprecating thoughts, you are not, and then, and then you might turn around and see the other side of that coin 
and and think to yourself, but I have a great life. I have a great home. I have a great family. I have a great marriage. I have a great job. Why am I feeling, thinking this negativity? Be aware, Libra. Is it coming from the matrix, the program, the, um, the programming of what you see in the news, legacy media, even... Um, even alternative media is very negative. Um, when it comes to your job and what you do, when you are groundbreakers, when you are industry innovators, when you are um, really making changes in this world for the better and you don't see it yet. And it's that balancing of belief and disbelief. It, it's, it's kind of that self-sabotage energy of manifestation. I was just having a conversation about this with my kids and that is how we block our own abundance, how we block our own happiness. And is it us that's blocking it or is it outside forces? that we're not aware of. As the veil comes down, we're becoming aware of um, weather patterns being controlled, of frequencies being controlled, of us and our money and our, our time, our effort. In fact, our attention. Where your attention goes, your energy flows. So where, Libra, is your energy flowing into? Negativity or positivity? And you're, balanced, and you're going back and forth and back and forth with this two of pentacles. Page of pentacles. Okay, so clarifying. This awareness of how you're balancing between light and dark, positivity and negativity, with the two of pentacles, you, with the page of pentacles, you are applying, because this is my application page, applying what it is that you've learned. And not taking your, your higher self. It's the only card that's that's come out in the reverse. You know, I typically don't read verses, but I can. And I'm taking it. And that is that you are not taking any action with this Knight of Wands without putting a lot of thought into what it is that you are going to do. And maybe why? With that Envy card being the first card out. Yes, indeed. Listening to that High Priestess. Okay. So I'm putting her right above this Ten of Swords because the High Priestess is making you aware, Libra, of your thoughts, of how you think about yourself and others, that judgment. Again, it's it's your energy. And the Seven of Cups. And the Seven of Cups is illusion. Seven of Cups is confusion. The Seven of Cups is what do I really want, desire, love, based on what I've learned. Am I seeing through the veil? Hierophant, the focus and foundation for Libra is the Nine of Cups. This is a wish fulfillment. And you're waking up. I think, you know what? You're waking up to how you think about yourself, your situation, your job, your family, about everything. You're waking up to how you've been influenced by um, negative forces in this world. And it could be you are rediscovering, reconnecting. I'm going to say with the High Priestess and the Hierophant here, you're reconnecting to the Divine. You're reconnecting with your higher self. To make those wishes, the Nine of Cups, those wishes come true. The strength in the recent past to take a different path. Look at that. To take a different path. Not one of fear. Not one of envy. But one of love. And unconditional love. And the Page of Swords. Another page. A fresh new page. And this is the internet for me. The Page of Swords is internet information, internet study, internet um, influence, internet influence, and having the strength to take a different path than the one you've been on. Libra, I am so proud of you because this, this really feels deep. Five of Wands, and you know that with this path change, 
you are going to have conflict. People that want to, you to stay where you are in the position that you're in, let's say if it's for work, in the family you're in, in the role that you have always played, and the, on stay on path that you have always walked, and you are looking at a different path and having the strength to do so. Five of Wands is clarified by the Strength card. Yes, right there. Having the strength to change paths when everyone around you does not want you to do so. Why? Look at that. Look at that. A brand new beginning as we have the Ace of Pentacles and that which you might not see is this brand new passionate beginning that you have to take a different path. And do you see those wands? It's the difference path that you've been on, Libra. And there it is, that different path, the path of light. When you are struggling between light and darkness, it's that path of light. And there it is, right there. And making that choice, having the strength to stand by, by that choice amongst conflict. It could be, when I pull this card down, it could be conflict at home. You don't want to move, you, or the family doesn't want to move, or they don't want to see you change. And you're going through changes. Queen of Pentacles. The Knight of Cups. This is how you see yourself. You see yourself as the take care queen. You have always labor. You've always taken care of your family, of your employees, of your job, of your projects, of your clients. You've always taken care of your creativity, of what you say, how you say it, how it affects other people. And now, and we go back to the two of pentacles. You are back and forth between light and dark. And when you are on, and, and I'm not here to judge. I'm not here to point the fingers. I'm not here to like say, oh, Libra, you got to do this. No, what I'm seeing on the table here is that you are already doing it and battling between that light and that dark, that, that balancing act of keeping everything, everyone happy, everyone um, moving forward, everyone's path, everyone's on path, everyone's good, everyone's at school, everyone's whatever, okay? But now in those times of light, you're taking a look at how can I apply what it is that I've learned? And it could be off the internet, it could be off other creators, it could be off, um, uh, I don't know, um, like, you know, those like courses and stuff that you learn about how to manifest, about how to, the, the, the laws of the universe, laws of abundance, this type of thing. And you're applying it to make those seven of cups unsure, sort of wishy-washy, can't see clearly the dreams that I want into clear vision of how I'm going to move forward now that I've seen the light. So other people see you as a very influential, strong, and we have the strength card twice, leader with the emperor. There he is, king of pentacles, Taurus energy. We have it down here in the Hierophant as well. Other people see you as very, very solid. You want to make an investment in Libra, you know that you're going to get the results. You know that they're going to make and put a lot of thought into every single decision so it benefits all, not just one. And a page of wands. That page of wands is making magic happen with that ace of wands. That's what that page of wands is doing. This is curiosity. This is wanting to learn new skills, what it is that I can do. How can I manifest? How can I stabilize? And not just me, but those around me. Teach them. Teach a man to fish, right? Is that the case? Are you giving fish out? Libra, or were you giving fish out and now you're teaching a man how to fish? Give a man a fish, he'll be fed for a day. Teach a man to fish, he'll be fed for a lifetime. And I'm really feeling that, how that's how other people see you, Libra, that you have been through the darkness. You've seen the other side of that coin, but it's still your coin, ace of coins right here, and that which you might not see. Six of pentacles, again, more Taurus energy. The six of pentacles is clarified by the queen. There she is right there, and that's how you see yourself. You see yourself as that queen of pentacles. And the seven of swords. How you have maybe lied to yourself you're of two minds. And with the two of pentacles coming up twice, you're of two minds. Do I follow my passions, asks Libra, with this page of wands? 
with this page of pentacles, with this page of swords? Where do I take the youth if you're a teacher, if you're a professor? How do I, how do I teach what it is that I have seen, that I have learned as Libra, as they're asking themselves, as they're tapping into their higher self, as they're tapping into the divine, Libra is asking, the Libra Collective is asking, I can see what's happening to the youth. How can I change this? How can I be an influence? How can I be that, that masculine, that, that healthy, divine, masculine energy? Because there's a lot of fatherless babies out there, a lot of fatherless children, a, a fatherless generations. That's what Libra's asking and balancing out both the feminine and masculine of grounding, of earth energy, of, of being able to create and build with hard work. Four of Wands, last card out. The sun. Look at this. Libra. You're happy at home. And this is your success, your home. These little pages could be your children. You could have a fire page. That would be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You could have an earth page, which is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could have an air page, which is, of course, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Because when I see these pages here, I see you being curious about information, bringing it down to practical application, and then firing it up with more curiosity to go back to get more information about what it is that you're curious about. Now, this is also the... Um, the, the, the beginning of the emperor. This is the little page that goes through page, knight, queen, king into emperor mode, right? We've got the stability of this earth energy here with both the masculine and the feminine of earth energy, both the king, king, queen of pentacles. You could be in a very solid, beautiful relationship with a Capricorn, with a Taurus, with, I've got Leo, Aries, um, I got more Leo. Look at all the Leo I've got here. This is a beautiful read of waking up and discovery for the Libra Collective about what it is they've built, where it is they're going, and how to get there with, it's like following the light. It, it very much feels like, like you have woken up, Libra, to how the game is played that you might have been playing. That you have forgiven yourself for doing so. That you see the darkness and you refuse anymore to give it your attention, thus your energy. You refuse. So, bottom of the deck, look at this, starting brand new. Look at this. With that Ace of Pentacles clarifying the Ten of Cups, your inner happiness, your connection to the divine is that Ten of Cups and then spreading it throughout your, it starts with your home, your family, how happy you are, how successful each member is, and then out into your community and then out into your workplace and then out and it just keeps spreading out. That's what love is does it's more powerful than hate it's more powerful than fear but they want you to think otherwise let's get some angel numbers on this libra i see 825 let's do 825 825 libra your angels are glad that you have been willing to release emotionally draining situations from your past absolutely that's what the ten of swords talks about your road ahead is clear. Beautiful. I see 255. Five. Let's do 255. Five. 255, five, five, Libra. Doors to abundance and opportunity are swinging open. It's time to stand in the spotlight and shine. That's exactly what the sun is all about. Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. These cards are about, nine of cups, about standing in your power. Strength card twice, about standing in your power. 
and your power is love. You're more powerful with love than fear. It's true. It's a fact that they don't want you to know. Last one. I see 464. Let's do 464, Libra. 464. Your angels are with you now. Welcome their help and rely on their support. And that's what I see for you, Libra. And I'm sure I'll see you again. Take care from your force fairy. Bye for now.